you have a free speech only if it aligns with our beliefs and that is fringing upon the right of conscience because you have a different mindset you are a what do you call it again a oh, danger a danger danger Welcome, welcome, welcome again. My name is Michelle here. Today's topic. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to go my, on my Facebook page on my Facebook page at the Open Veil TV. And like, follow, comment. I would really appreciate it. Let's get right into it. We're gonna continue with the same chapter, chapter six, a healthy normality. And we're gonna look at part four. So, so far we looked at three parts. This is part number four now. And as I'm looking at it, we might have a part five. Hopefully not a part six, but let's get right into it. So to begin, making iron rule for others dishonors God. We know that, uh oh, let's go back up. We know that God gives everybody a free will. But let's see what it says right here. God will not vindicate any device whereby men shall in the slightest degree rule or oppress his fellow man. I just said that. God gives everyone a free will. As soon as a man begins to make an iron rule for others or other men, he dishonors God and imperils his own soul and the souls of his brethren. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 7, page 181. I wonder what's going to happen in the future when... Let me just... Um, let me quickly, let me just uh, quickly fix this. When, uh, when you no longer have a conscience, uh, actually, you know what? Let me bring it to a right now moment. You know how Donald Trump was banned from Twitter, banned from Facebook, banned from all the social media platforms. Yeah, and um, but it's all about free speech. But then, when it doesn't, when you don't like what they are saying, you just erase them. Yeah, that should concern every single people, whether you are liberal, or Democrat, or Republican, or conservative, which I'm none of those, because I don't associate myself with any of these things. Whether you are either one or not, or none of them at all, it should concern you. Because that basically is saying, you have a free speech only if it aligns with our beliefs. And that is fringing upon the right of conscience. Slightly. That's just the bare minimum. But later in life, we're going to find you cannot buy or sell except you keep Sunday holy, which is a spiritual Sabbath. That's what we're going to get down to. Today is January 21st, and I'm telling you right now, it's just the beginning, but let's move on. 
balance of differing minds necessary well um yes but you see the problem is nowadays when you differ in mind it's a problem it's a big problem and we can just see what just happened in the past few weeks about what just happened on social media YouTube same thing you preaching something that they don't like they cut you off because this to them is not good because you have a different mindset you are a how do you call it again oh danger a danger danger let's let's keep reading here we are brought together of different minds different education and different training and we do not expect that every mind will run right in the same channel but the question is are we the several branches grafted into the parent vine that is what we want to inquire and we want to ask teachers as well as students so that's what they're trying to ask teachers and students we want to understand whether we are really grafted into the parent vine if we are we may have different manners different tones and different voices you may view things from one standpoint and we have different ideas different from one another in regard to the scriptures not in opposition to the scriptures but our ideas may vary my mind may run in the lines most familiar to it and another may be thinking and taking a view according to his traits of character and see a very deep interest in one side of it that others do not see manuscript 14 1894 what does that mean what that means basically is you do not disagree on the same subject but what it means is the way you look at it from your background you may have a different understanding of the same thing not that it's opposite to the teaching in this case of the bible yeah what that means again i'm gonna say is it's not that you have a different you have a different um not that what the bible says is different for both of you you guys agree on the same thing but you see it in different light in a sense my experience may you may i may see something deeper than what you see as a person because the experience that I had you had not had it and so when I see it in that level of depth you only see it right here but we still agree on the same subject as well now when it comes to earthly things it's a different story because I may like Hyundai and you may like Toyota and just because I say Hyundai is the best and you say Toyota is the best guess what now we're no longer friends that's what is going on right now if I believe one thing and you believe something else then we are enemies eh, that's not really true but there's a gray line a gray area to that so maybe in the future we might look at it more to be continued the high up the cedar and the palm hmm in all the Lord's arrangements there is nothing more beautiful than his plan of giving to men and women a diversity of gifts you know uh, just quick quick something that has happened earlier this past month what well, this month was apparently there was a prayer and I don't know who was doing that prayer, but at the end, they said, Amen. And the person also said, 
a woman. I thought that was kind of dumb. But who knows if that person actually knows anything about prayer. Maybe he doesn't know, maybe this first time. But you would be surprised what kind of leaders we have in the country. Just, just a thought. Let's keep on going. The church is his garden, adorned with a variety of trees, plants, and flowers. He does not expect the, the hyssop to assume the proportions of the cedar, nor the olive to reach the height of the stately palm. Many have received but a limited religious and intellectual training but God has a work for this class to do if they will labor in humility, trusting in Him. Letter 122, 1902. What that actually means is very simple. It's very simple. It basically means um, whatever you have, just use it. Let God help you use it. Don't try to envy somebody who has a talent that you have. Whatever you have, just use it. Because whatever you have, God can use it for the greater good than you would have ever imagined. Moving on. Characters as varied as the flowers. Now we are talking about characters now. Hmm. Is that not interesting? From the endless variety of plants and flowers, we may learn an important lesson. Now the question is, are we going to learn any lesson at all? That I don't know. All blossoms are not the same in form and co or color. Some possess healing virtues. Some are always fragrant, smell good. There are professing Christians who think it their duty to make every other Christian like themselves. That's exactly what I just mentioned earlier. We may have different views on a subject, but nowadays if you have a different view, you become an enemy in a sense that you know what I'm saying an enemy uh, instead of a lie what that tells me is we and, and honestly I think I mentioned that in another video that our churches are now becoming divided and Satan is very smart in that part but let me just not let me finish that first Satan is very smart in that part he knows that the people that are supporting left wing's ideology 100%. In that same church, there are right wing's ideologists 100%. What does he do? Hey, there is a political campaign. There is the left, the Democrats, and there's supposed to be the right, the Republicans. I'm going to make sure the people in the church start fighting over Who's going to be the next president? And get mad if one party is going after the other party. And one party after the other party. And so now the church has become divided into two people. We have those that are supporting the Democrats. And those supporting the Republicans. You get the points now. So the Democrats are trying to get the Republicans to become more like them. And the Republicans in the church, of course, I'm talking about the church now, in the church are trying to get the Democrats to become more like them. And what do we have? When two parties don't like each other. That even goes into the church. The church. What our members are fighting against members? 
you know what let me just keep on reading this is a man's plan not the, not the plan of God in the church of God there is room for characters as varied as are the flowers in the garden in his spiritual garden there are many varieties of flowers letter 95 1902 but I can tell you one thing if you're gonna be oh Trump oh Biden Trump Biden there's always gonna be fight in the church it's as simple as that let's keep on going actually I'm gonna end up with this one right here is that right Yes, I'm going to end right here actually. Powers of mind and body, the gift of God. The requirements of God must be brought home to the conscience. Men and women must be awakened to the duty of self mastery, the need of purity, freedom from every depraving, depra depraving, depraving appetite, and defiling habit. They need to be impressed with the fact that all their powers of man and body are the gift of God and are to be preserved in the best possible condition for his service. The Ministry of Healing, page 130. Alright guys, so, I'm not going to even comment on that again because I think I will talk about it about the appetite and things like that in another video I'm going you're gonna see on the card you're gonna see all the playlists and you can just go back to um, you can just go to the videos I'm sure you're gonna find it I'm not telling you to go to every single video but if you would like to watch the other video that I posted before you can just go to the playlist because yeah this is a this is the sixth the sixth chapter so you're gonna find many videos from the beginning until that moment so God desires symmetrical characters God reproves men because he loves them he wants them to be strong in his strength to have well-balanced mind and symmetrical symmetrical characters then there will be examples to the flock of God, leading them by precept and example nearer to heaven. Then they will build up a holy temple for God. Manuscript Release 1, 1883 Should I say anything about that? No, not really because it's pretty straightforward well this was Mother Michelle and please don't forget to go to my Facebook page I'm gonna put the link on the screen or well, not the link but the, you know what I'm talking about on the screen at the Open Veil TV uh, you can like, follow, comment and also don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel uh, of course the same thing right that you're gonna see it so I hope to see you guys again but if I don't see you guys again I hope to see you guys when Jesus Christ comes the second time until then Bye, for now, move out.